Here is the latest from K2 Radio News. U.S. Senator John Barrasso recently blasted the Biden administration on the Senate floor, stating that it has failed to protect the American people. Barrasso says that Biden, as the commander-in-chief, bears full responsibility for what he calls the continuity of the crisis that he has created. Barrasso references restricted offshore oil drilling and um, Biden's moratorium on new coal permits on federal lands. He says these things are undermining American energy security. Barrasso says Iranian proxies have attacked American service members in the Middle East at least 180 times in the past four months and that we've lost five American troops because of these attacks. He remarked that the administration is looking the other way as a hapless and diminished President Biden continues to be outplayed by Iran. To read his full statement, you can head over to K2Radio.com. The Wyoming Senate has passed a bill that would ban gender transitioning and reassignment procedures for anyone under the age of 18 in Wyoming. Senate File 99, it's known as Chloe's Law, now goes on to the Wyoming House of Representatives. It's sponsored by Senator Anthony Bouchard from Laramie. The bill specifically bans gender reassignment surgery or the use of drugs to change someone's sex if the person is under 18 years old. It does include medical exemptions for genetic disorders and some other medical conditions. In floor debate on the bill, Senator Lynn Hutchings from Laramie County spoke about Chloe, for whom the bill is named, having undergone treatments when she was 13 to become a boy. Hutchings says Chloe will have to live with the after effects for the rest of her life. Chloe decided not to transition fully. However, she will still have a deep voice for the rest of her life. Her breasts have been removed and she has a protruding Adam's apple. Senator Chris Rothfuss from Albany County spoke against the measure. He says that at the end of the day, the legislation provides an opportunity for the state to insert itself between parents and children in consultation with health care providers of those children, and that this is antithetical, candidly, to what the chamber and the legislature have pushed for in recent years. Kelly Walsh High School and CY Middle School students competed against schools across the state at the Regional Science Bowl, and they will now go to the national competition to represent Natrona County. Students will engage in a fast-paced question-and-answer format where they're tested on a variety of scientific and mathematical areas. This is the fifth year in a row that Kelly Walsh High School celebrates a first-place win as the 2024 Wyoming Regional High School Science Bowl champs. Throughout the school year, the K-Dub Science Club meets to exercise their science and math knowledge with large group mock bowls. Part of the fund's learning how to respond quickly to the questions while using their strategic critical thinking skills to ensure that they avoid making mistakes on the fly. As these teams make their way to nationals, they are poised to showcase their passion for science and math and their commitment to academic excellence. The national competition will provide them with a platform to demonstrate their expertise across a spectrum of scientific disciplines, from physics to biology, while emphasizing the importance of teamwork and communication in scientific endeavors. A Wyoming hero now has her own theme song. If you have not heard of the popular horsefly Rowdy Randy, you'll need to get yourself over to Wind City Books and check her out. Local artist Chad Lohr is the talent behind the new Rowdy Randy theme song. He put pen to paper and he's written the perfect tune to pay tribute to this wild and crazy buckaroo. And of course, I'd like to acknowledge that we're all getting an extra day today because it is leap year. The next leap day will happen in 2028. Over time, the planet is slowing its spin and our orbit around the sun alters a little bit. A typical year is just a little over 365 days, but not exactly. Currently, it's 365 days, 5 hours, 48 minutes, and 56 seconds, according to the National Aeronautics and Space Museum. We try to make up for that time with a leap day every four years. I am curious to know what you're going to do with all that extra time. You can let us know by heading over to our Facebook page, and we've put the question up there in our feed. Reporting from Casper, this is Colby Fiedler.